Back in 2018, I was looking for a job in my field of academic expertise. Being sure about having the required skills to take up the position, I applied rather confidently. But surprise, surprise, like many of you, there were rejections on the way. And many of them solely based on me being unexperienced. After months of trying, it hit me. Why don't I take up my side passion project and turn it into full-time entrepreneurship at this point already? A few months into the journey, during a workshop about how to be an entrepreneur, out of curiosity, I raised my hand amidst a hall full of people to ask a simple question. What would your advice be for student entrepreneurs, sir? The speaker paused for a minute, looked at my face, smirked, and asked, how old are you again? Uh, 22, I answered. He then continued, oh, I believe you're too young to be thinking about this. You'll need to have some experience before. Addressing the audience, he continued, there's a glitch in the system, he says. And to complete, what he actually meant was that there's a glitch in the system to be allowed to be an entrepreneur while you're a student. Now, this was the moment when a realization hit. The young entrepreneurs do not have it easy, not because of being unexperienced, but because of the various perceptions surrounding them. And well, this was just the beginning of that realization. Such perceptions could easily lead to shatter the heaps of belief and motivation it takes young individuals to even get started with entrepreneurship. Now, let's be honest, having self-belief and confidence are vital for starting your own business. Do we all agree that every experienced person was once unexperienced? They never had an idea where to get started from, but they did, and that's what gained them the experience. Look at me now, for example, standing right here giving a TEDx talk, something I never had an experience in, and this is my first time. But guess what? I'll officially be considered an experienced TEDx speaker about 10 minutes later. But sadly, the notion for experience being the criteria has remained unchanged for years. You just need to have the experience to prove yourselves as a professional, either if you're applying for a job or if you're starting entrepreneurship. Now, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a recent graduate and a full-time overthinker. Overthinking is one skill I have definitely had years of experience in and an art I have mastered growing all these years. The overthinker in me has always seeked external validation. Even at times, I have been sure of how great of an idea I have and what excellent execution can I pull off for the same. I have never held any managerial or leadership positions in any of the jobs I have taken up in the little span of working life that I have lived. Now, being a part-time sandwich artist, a cashier, a salesperson, working and counting hours each day for the clock to strike nine so that I can finally go home and sleep just so that the next day I can wake up, attend an 8 a.m. lecture, followed up by another 4 p.m. shift. And the cycle continued. This was around three years ago. Do you think this was for gaining experience? No, it just had to be done to make ends meet and survive the student life like many others. It took me a year of realization and convincing myself that I was perfectly capable of taking a risk and becoming an entrepreneur. Or at least I was perfectly capable of failing and getting back again to give it another chance. Today, 
I'm a co-founder of a startup with a capable team of seven members built over a year and a half. The one trait that all of us shared as a team was having no experience in the startup life. Do you think this was easy? No, I'm not talking about the journey of establishing a company or hiring people or carrying out the operations, but establishing myself as an entrepreneur in the eyes of other experienced people in the startup ecosystem. Now that is a task in itself. Unfortunately, it always has been a tough game between my belief in the worthiness of my ideas versus the recommendations and experienced opinions of all who suggested not to even get started with them in the first place. And I was not winning this the easy way. First off, because I was too young. Second, I was not experienced. Third, I fed on self-doubt. Everybody brought in their share of experiences to influence what I should be doing next. High time, I believed in myself and anyways did what I was asked not to. And it worked. Now from the little span of experience that I have had, I would love to share some of the key takeaways with you. Of all the things I assumed were important for me to succeed on my journey, the only that remains important is the right kind of support and not exactly the experienced opinions. I found this support in the same university and the same startup ecosystem. It is a matter of understanding and evaluating all the advices, comments, and criticism that comes your way. You'll meet people from both the sides of the spectrum. The ones who believe what you're doing is not right and the others who believe what you're doing is right and it will work out eventually if you keep putting in the right amount of work and dedication. Being unexperienced should never be looked down upon or should never be the criteria to reject or accept someone. Forget about others' judgments. You yourself should not be putting yourself down with your own self-assessment criteria of being too young, too unexperienced, or too naive to get started with your next passion project. You want to do it and are ready to commit to it, go for it. It is okay to take risks and it is more than okay to fail. Just like success is never guaranteed, failure isn't either. Who knows when your next failure brings in your first fortune? Lastly, do not become too comfortable in the comfort zone you have created for yourselves. Entrepreneurship life demands adapting to circumstances and being open-minded towards change. The idea of associating age with experiences and capability is not completely our fault. It has somehow been embedded in us since childhood. Let me share something funny. I'm originally from India and growing up, our parents would tell us to keep our noses out of elders' business. This meant to not interfere in discussions that are not our age. Even if we had a point to make that made much more sense than their elaborated discussions. You just have to keep quiet because, you know, that's not your place to talk and we should be behaving our age. So you're made to believe that just because you're not old enough, you cannot come up with anything or how dare you offend them by sounding smarter than them. It is quite often as per the convenience of the people elder or experienced to us to either judge us as unexperienced or overexperienced. We need to break this norm. This should be the last thing to influence our decision making and stopping us from chasing our dreams. 
You do not have to be a professional chef to be contesting at a cooking competition. You just need the right skills that you could have learned by cooking for yourself or your family. My age has never been a barrier on my entrepreneurial journey, but the judgment surrounding it definitely had not so great effects. Your age doesn't determine what you can achieve, but your attitude, it definitely does. I accept that I never had the experience, but what I had was an idea. My ability to learn and the courage to fail were all that were needed to pursue my passion. I believe a lot of young people have that in themselves, but they are unable to recognize it just because they have heard a lot of no's due to the lack of this magic ingredient called experience. I want to convey a simple message. Do not fall for that. It's a trap. Circumstances can drain you, you'll be put down, you'll be rejected by the experience for not having the experience. But if you decide to keep going, despite of all the criticism that is coming your way, believe in yourselves and be positive, something wonderful is already on its way. You will find the right people on the way. Your vibe will attract your tribe. Hard work, consistency, and perseverance have to be the only superpowers one would need to take up challenges and face failures. And of course, a helping hand never hurt anyone either. To my experienced peers and mentors out there, your support and willingness to provide constructive criticism really does determine if a new an experienced individual will be able to build their dreams. A matter of fact, a helping hand at the weakest moments of one's personal or professional lives only motivates them and empowers them to do better. And to my inexperienced young fellows, mentors can be the guiding lights in the moments of darkness. Sounds too philosophical, right? but this is as true as it can get. Find the right kind of support. Determine your own wrongs and rights. Network in your own local communities. You're sure to find the people who might not necessarily be able to take this journey with you, but they'll inspire you to experience the unexpected. There are so many heroes out there who had their share of struggles pursuing their dreams and they're willing to share their golden learnings to help the coming generations thrive. I did find the right kind of support. You will too. Even the unexperienced have experiences worth sharing. And this is coming from a not so experienced entrepreneur. I look forward to see many more young entrepreneurs in the ecosystem walking with confidence and knowing that their ideas are worth the impact they dream they can create. Thank you.